Jennifer, we are joined now by Family Research Council's Tony Perkins. Tony is also vice chair of the commission behind today's report. Tony, welcome. Good to have you with us. Uh, what is the Thanks, overall Jim. takeaway from this year's report? Uh, commissioners, they do seem to be united on condemning China. Uh, certainly, China is at the top of the list. Uh, it has been a bad actor for some time, but uh, believe it or not, they seem to be getting worse. The big concern that we have about China is the exportation of their repressive techniques and even their technology that they use to do that. Of course, it's been a little bit more in the forefront as of late, where we see uh, many U.S. major corporations being co-opted uh, or working in concert with China, free to do business with them, uh, when in fact, you know, China is, uh, you know, incarcerating, using forced labor, and some of these American com companies are benefiting from that forced labor, while at the same time, uh, you know, preaching social justice here in the United States, the hypocrisy, uh, pretty, pretty strong. Tony, a big day for you guys at USERF, so thanks for making time for us. Uh, Tony, does this report show any relation between the current public health challenge with COVID-19 and how that fight has impacted religious freedom and human rights? It, it does, John, to a, a certain degree. You know, it, it just kind of like um, takes some of the latent abuse that's been out there, the repression, and makes it more visible. Uh, so we've seen some of these countries that are already bad on religious freedom only intensifying it during the uh, the pandemic and the outbreak and the way they were uh, targeting particular communities. India is one of those. We've recommended India as a country of particular concern. And we saw uh, discriminatory tactics used against religious minorities there in India and other places. We've seen where uh, certain religious communities have been um, kind of blamed for the spread of uh, mm. COVID-19. So, yes, uh, it, is, it has been a factor in this year's report. Tony, just about 30 seconds uh, here, but USERF joined a chorus of critics calling on the Biden administration to increase the refugee limit, this coming after it, the, the White House said it would keep in place the Trump numbers. Uh, Tony, why does it need to be changed, and who suffers in the meantime? Well, we said the same thing during the Trump administration, that America needs to do its part when it comes to those being persecuted for their religious beliefs. And we need to be a place of refuge, just as we call upon other countries to step forward we need to do our part as well for those, again, that are targeted mm -hmm. for their religious beliefs. All right, Tony Perkins, Vice Chair of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. Busy day for you all. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tony.